And here's the first long throw of the day. Exodus Gagan winding up down this right-hand side. Big X, as uh, Alan Lord calls him. And he's launched that into the six-yard box. A glancing header. Ormson comes and fists it clear. Jevons completes the job. It bounces awkwardly for Dean. And Oates could be in here. Brilliant work by Oates as he anticipated where that was going to land. Has he got the pace to get past the fullback? He has. And he hits the post. Great work by Reese Oates. Fantastic run. Denied by the woodwork with the goalkeeper beaten. He's been much more withdrawn this season, which is why he's only scored twice. But he's got the uh, the role today of the out and out striker and i wonder pete if they're looking at him thinking well there's no fag bowler in there cowan and lee's not quite as quick let's put some pace up there and that's why moores have gone with with junior english they've got a chance here for Bezik. he's up for the scoring county didn't deal with the throw from the left hand side and onto the edge of the six yard box Bezik in acres of space right footed slides the ball home and having just hit the post at one end county have now conceded at the other and it's the visitors who take the lead after just five minutes County have lost the ball again here to Richard Taundry, signed recently from Worcester. Here's Darrell Knight, straight ball into the path of the left back, Jordy Goff, whose shot is saved well by Ian Ormson. That was going in, and now a foul on the edge of the box by Taundry on Churchman. County free kick. Good save, Ormson. He's in his second spell with the club, having re signed from Kidderminster earlier this month. He's going to go for goal here. Right footed over the wall and over the barn, it stays 1 0 to Solihull. Launches it in to the six yard box. Lees heads it away. Jevons helps it on its way. Richard Taundry picks it up on the edge of the box. Great work by Taundry. But the little back heel from Elvins didn't quite come off. But they've got spare man on the right wing. A shot for goal just wide from Dior Angus. Perhaps a little selfish there. There were two or three players arriving at the far post. But he went for goal. Missed the target. It stays 1 0 to Solly Hull. Finds Churchman. Jacobs joining the attack. But Jacobs isn't needed, Churchman with a cross, it's allowed to bounce, Howard turns it back in, batters me! The keeper at the near post was able to keep it out, that was a chance for the substitute. Dean will take it instead, Dean on the right wing, looking for Junior English, it's a good sliding tackle by Jay Denny but he's lost possession. Churchman, what a good ball by Churchman over the top and again Jazz Singh outside of the box, it's Jay Chip it into the old guard and there's Peter! What a finish from Phil Jevons who slides in front of the main stand. Great celebration, great goal, county back on turf. Brilliant work by the Hatters and Phil Jevons, the coolest head at Edgley Park. It's one all. The crowd are right behind the, uh, the team in blue and white here. Here's Oates, edge of the box, lovely layoff towards Jacobs, just a little bit behind him. It's Moses now, keeps it simple to Churchman. Churchman's under pressure, you can't afford to lose it there, but he's managed to get some help from Tunji Moses. And now Kyle Jacobs, brilliant work from Jacobs, what a good ball through! What a great finish by Battersby on his home debut! County have gone from a goal down to lead 2-1, and Battersby on his home debut has found the back of the net with a brilliant finish, 2-1. Angus now, he's come over to the left wing for this second half. He's very right footed and it's uh, not a good cross. Dealt with by Cowan, cleared by Moses. Oh, it's a poor clearance though. He's given it straight back to Taundry. Taundry out to the right for Alex Dean. Dean back in field now to Richard Taundry, the former Walsall captain. He's given it away. And now the break's on for the Hatters and it's Reese Oates. Oh, he's just kicked it too far. He decided to kick and run to get away from Gagan, but he kicked it too hard and it ran through to the keeper. Maybe that's what listening to country music does for you, I don't know. It's just a bit weird, isn't it? It's <laughs> Jacobs with the header away. Oh, he stood on the ball there, Goff. Battersby trying to uh, make an force an error from him but he's uh, gone away with it here's Goff again chance to cross from the left side he's gone away from Churchman shoots from distance that was going in the bottom right corner good save by Ian Ormson diving low to keep it out for Gagan to launch it in Cowan's there again to meet it edge of the box though Howard's got to get there and he does brilliant work from Howard County looking to counter attack Oates trying to use his pace oh word what a crunching challenge 
no, he's thinking about it, isn't he? In the end, he's decided to dink it in quite rightly. And now, a goal. What's the referee going to do here? He's blown up, though. Now then, what's he going to show here? Did he, did he use his hand to put it in the net? He's punched it in. And he is going to show a yellow card to Junior English. Well, up here, Pete, impossible for us to see. But Junior English clearly used his hand to get to the ball. It was a touch of the Maradonas. It's not going to count. Why did English punch it in? Fires it upfield. Good clearance by Ormson. Jacobs now. Looking for Battersby. Dispossessed by the captain, Elvins. Tawndry, oh, quick feet from Tawndry. Brilliant skill by Richard Tawndry. Out to the left wing now for Fleet. Fleet taking on Churchman. He's got round him as well. Fleet with the cross from the left. Oh, what a save from Ian Ormson. That's an unbelievable save by the young county keeper. Diving to his right-hand side. Fabulous goalkeeping by Ormson. How on earth did he keep out that effort from Gary Birch from point-blank range? Just on a knife edge. It's Gagan to launch it in. It's a glancing header from Elvins. It's going to come to Birch. Scruffy shot from Birch. Good clearance by Chris Churchman. Great pace. It's gone straight to the captain, Elvins, the centre half. That's an ambitious ball from him. Easily intercepted by Jacobs and County. Poor forward in number here. Everything to Jacobs left. He's looking for Battersby. Knocked down to Jevons. Out to the left wing now. The shot comes in from that left hand side from Bobby Lofthouse. Now then, a long diagonal ball towards the edge of the county penalty area. Cowan gets in ahead of Gary Birch, the veteran striker who was jeered by the county fans for his size and weight when he came on. The 32-year-old signed from Chase Town a couple of years ago. Here he is on the ball, holds it up. Dribbles it out to the left wing. <laughs> he's done well though. And he's continued his run. It's Gary Birch down the left wing, crosses to the far post and there's the equaliser. The county fans laughed too soon. Birch with a cross from the left, the header from Taylor, and that's the equaliser for Solihull Moors as we enter the final five minutes, 2-2.